So, what's your name, sir? My name is Lloyd Ford. All right, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, tell the audience about yourself here. You know, I'm Lloyd Ford, uh, running for city council. Really? Uh, Houston District D. Okay. That's the shirt. <laughs> okay. All right. So, you know, um, originally from Houston, went to Jack Yates High School. I've mm. been in Houston all my life. Um, got my... Uh, degree from Prairie View A&M, Management Information Systems, used to be in corporate. Um, jumped out of here being an entrepreneur. We got the Black Store, Beauty Supply Experience, where we opened up our first beauty supply store. Good. We had over 100 vendors. Really? Um, in one year, they did over $100,000. We gave back over $70,000 paid back to Black-owned vendors. Um, that was a big accomplishment. We had our own nail shop and stuff inside where you couldn't get your own many petties. Um, not only did we do that, but we had interns. Uh, from Addicts Middle School, from 6th to 8th grade. Mm. Just kind of coming in, being a part, showing what business is, showing them how to, the day-to-day. -day. Um, just giving them a new perspective on on life, not only just having a job, but owning a business. And not only did we do that, but we had a community garden in the back. We had every second Saturdays. Um, but we just kind of grew, show people how to grow little things. We had banana trees, pear trees, uh, um, lettuce, all type of different stuff. I'm um, just kind of showing people that they have that passion and that green thumb. All right, well, let me ask you another question, man, because uh, this is uh, something that's a little bit unusual for most African-American people in this country. Um, very rarely have, does anyone meet anyone says, I want to run for political office. Right. You know, even as a kid, I would see people um, saying, I, I think I want to be a president of the United States, something right. like that. But, you know, by 30 days, it's like, I forgot what I said I was going to do, right? right? But what made you say, you know what, this is something that I got to do. I want to be a part of this. And I think that I am a better fit uh, to lead this particular district. Right. I mean, when, when you talk about political office, I think I kind of got the same epiphany that the Black Panthers got. Mm. You know, it wasn't enough just to be a community advocate. It's not enough to own businesses, but we have to almost pay a part. And I tell people, we don't think that politics is going to be the one sole answer to solve all black people's problems. But it's two things that we're looking for, information and access. And we see a lot of our dollars and a lot of the things flow out of our community and why things are not flowing in. But we don't necessarily always have that transparency on how to make change in those areas. And a lot of that lies with the people that get elected right around us. It don't have nothing to do with the presidency. It don't have nothing to do with the governor. Um, and I think sometimes if we look at things a little bit more uh, dissected in our neighborhoods and right around us, we'll solve a lot of the issues that plague us today. Um, that's the reason why we even have today, we got on sale our black agenda, which is the book of the God to Black Power. In the back of the book, we have a glossary of each elected official and shows the roles and responsibilities because too often do I go to community meetings and seeing that people are asking uh, of the elected official that's not their particular job. And so those things don't get done. Gotcha. So we want to make sure that we kind of hold that fire to it, transparency. And I know a lot of people don't like politics, but I take like I say all the time, how you get your roads is political. How you get yeah. your electricity is political. political. Everything is political. Uh, for the people that um, tend to, it's been my finding, uh, as a photojournalist, that when people say, I don't like politics, so I don't want to be involved with it, I think it's geared from people who really don't understand politics sure. or have some kind of uh, negative inclination due to a mis-expectation from some sort of politician that they may have um, voted for in the past. But let me ask you two final questions here. Uh, as you well know, um, uh, Mayor Turner, he's getting ready to, I guess, retire. I was just with him yesterday. Honestly, I really was when they opened up the Citadel. Um, uh, what was that? The Apartments Affordable Housing right. for elderly people, 55 plus, income driven. And uh, as you well know, he's getting ready to kind of He's gonna hang his hat up or whatever. I'm surprised. I thought he was gonna run for Sheila's seat. Okay, okay, and, and, and we did, we did, um, we did speak with Sheila uh, during a political uh, rally for her coming out announcement on the top of Post. Okay. All right. So she was pretty cool. But what are your thoughts on Sylvester Turner as mayor? I mean, you've been here <laughs> longer uh, than me. I've only been right. here four years or whatever. Um, what would you say about his time in office and what he did? I would say one thing, I always judge, uh, especially elected officials, not only what they do in office, but what they do outside of it. Mm. Um, and also when they're in office, what does your community, what does the change in your community look like? And I would say I didn't see a real change of economics and businesses really? and stuff within the Acres Home community okay. through his time of being mayor. Okay. Um, so I, I, of course I can acknowledge the good things, um, but me being a little bit more stickler of seeing the thing and knowing the things that can be opened up 
uh, you know, it, it's kind of just a sour taste. I wish, you know, what could be and more could have been done. Okay. But again, you know, I wasn't very, I'm not going to say very, when he first got elected, you know, and all the things that he did beforehand, you know, I was, I was basically a toddler looking in. Okay. You know. Yeah, cause I, I know that some people who's going to uh, see this, because, you know, it's, it's going to go public. Uh, anytime I write something that's public, uh, they may see that as a challenge, you know, okay. that particular one. But I, no I'm worries, not, they know me. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm never going to steer a, um, a conversation such as this one as uh, any type of uh, adverse challenge to any one person. But uh, which ticket are you on? Let's start there. Are you a Republican, you Democrat, or how you, how you doing it? Oh, uh, you know, for one, this is a nonpartisan race. Okay. But, oh, if, okay. but you know, if I had to choose to be honest, I'm I'm a registered Democrat, but I'm definitely independent in my thinking. Okay. Um, so if I had to choose anything and go further um, in politics, which I don't plan to, uh, but it would be more on an independent ticket. Thus, so, the reason why okay. we have this organization called Pay, which gotcha. is political advocates for independent democracy. I, I, you know, I, I like you, man. I like talking to you. Uh, I like the fact that you look like me. I like the fact that you're black like me and that you're smart. So I'm going to extend this interview and I'm going to say, hey, man, what are your thoughts on Joe Biden? Uh, I got to ask. Definitely not uh, effective. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I think his, his time is up. I think he just needs to go ahead and, and cut ties. And, and okay. just, I don't know how sound his mind is. I've seen too many clips <laughs> you, of, you know, of yeah. Uh, of stuff. I try not to judge anybody by little yeah. clips, but it's too many of them. When it I, I rains, know. it pours. <laughs> <laughs> and your final thoughts on the previous president, Donald Trump? Uh, I tell people all the time, would I ever voted for Donald Trump? Most likely, no. Okay. Um, but I would say I wish that he would have won again because the reason why is because he kept people on their toes. Okay. I think four more years would have had black people up in the stir and hopefully we would be able to woke people up to do something. I'm not okay. saying for sure, I but, I, mm -hmm. but I would wish that it would have kept our minds on something. I think when Democratic people get elected, it, it, same thing with Obama, we kind of go to sleep and we don't ask much of these people and these individuals um, okay. outside of the minority spectrum, but more on the black spectrum. Okay, let's, let's quickly, um, not transform, but... Um move to another topic that I think that may be more pertinent to African-American men in this particular country here. Um, the trend was black men in this country were starting to vote more on the Republican ticket versus the prior Democratic ticket. Uh, I don't have a thought on that, but this is all up to you. If you choose to answer that, this particular question, I'm getting ready to pose to you. What are your thoughts on that particular trend? Uh, I think, like I said, I, I do see more black men uh, moving more into the conservative space. Okay. Um, and I think it's just more of historically, they just not that they could get more from the Republican space, but just the lack there that people can get from the Democratic space. Okay. So, you know, I think when you talk about that, I just think it's just a flight away from what they've not been getting. So it's kind of why not uh, okay. sometimes, not every time. Um, and I think they do probably share more of their values than most people probably think because they never give it a chance. And we do understand the attitudes of a lot of Democratic black people that don't vote for people just because they're not Democrats. Understood. So, and I think sometimes we got to get out of this and we tell people no permanent friends, no permanent enemies, just permanent interests. Uh, Understood. So, yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate this uh, this mini interview. In fact, it was so good. I'm, I'm going to actually give you your own segment. I really enjoyed being able to talk to you. I love it. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. I am.